Hey YouTube, Brad C here. You may be looking at one of the greatest hauls I have ever been able to pull off. This was all free, all free off Craigslist. You heard that right. Somebody put an ad up that said free TV production equipment. This stuff is not junk. And something inside of me said, Brad, you need to rent a U-Haul and get to work. So that's what I did. I contacted the guy. I said, hey, I will take everything you have. I'll come pick it up. I have a guy with me that'll load everything. We'll get her all in one trip. And he was all about it. So, I mean, look at these. These are studio cameras. Look these up on eBay. These sell for about $700 each in non-working condition. Now, you know, we haven't even looked at all the equipment here. And I've plugged all this in. All of it powers up. All of it seems to run. Now, obviously, a lot of it's outdated equipment, but people that are looking for props and just all kinds of things, you know, beta cams, uh, digital video recorders, you know, all this stuff, it's worth a lot of money. These, these portable things here, I'll try to get a shot of these. These are the uh, Sony Betacam SX recorders. There's two full units and these are two single units. Here's a soundboard. I lit this thing up and it is beautiful looking. I mean, look at that soundboard. He's got stage lights. All the lights, see, I put the lights up in here to use as my light source, but all these came with it free. Every one of these things, these old antique stage lights, that's a $100 bill right there, every one of them. And these old stage lights here, those are about 150 each. There's a big one that I don't even see here, but it's it's about 350 to 500 if I could find it. But of course, I've just got a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. I haven't even had time to look through. I mean, look at that. That's a tripod. That's much better than anything I've got for any of my camera work. That looks like an old PA system. I mean, look at that. Andrew from uh, this is CNN PowerView. I mean, this guy worked at every place. And here's more of these little little miniature monitors. Can't even get a shot of them. That's some stuff he made me take, just because I was, uh, you know, taking the good stuff. So he said I had to take everything, which I was fine with that, obviously. Uh -huh. Put an ad on Craigslist and get rid of all this for about I don't know, 50 bucks probably. Give it all away. Not this. That's some valuable stuff in there. We got more of these back here. I mean, those are machines I haven't even tested yet, just like the ones over there. You know, we really can't even see a lot of the stuff that's in here, but these old, I don't even know how to pronounce the names, Ikagami, Ika, Ikagami, I have no idea, but <laughs> they're worth a gob of money, I'll tell you that. The guy that helped me lift these, Travis, he said, uh, he said, Brad, if those things aren't worth more than 50 bucks, can we just throw them in a dumpster? Because he was afraid he was going to have to carry them up my steps. And I said, sure, we'll look them up. And some of these were listed for five grand or best offer. And uh, you can see we got one, two, three, four, five of those units. And three of them are those five grand ones. And the other ones, I think they're worth around a thousand. Here we got some more hidden gems back here. Just a slew of camera equipment that some of it I have at the house. Haven't got it all out yet, but I just want to show you the fruits of my last labor here. Unbelievably nice pickup. Oh, I got those padded things sitting outside of a dumpster. Somebody had these. I mean, look at these. These are like padded seats. These are really nice. And they're brand new. I have no idea why someone set that out, but oh well, I will definitely put it to use. Here's something pretty cool. It's like a big boom. One of those big booms you put a mic on for you know, the, the TV studio. And here's one that he actually made. I should get this stuff out and demonstrate some of it on the channel. But man, it's just unbelievable that I got all this for free. I mean, the guy just literally gave me everything he had. And uh, I'm just, just floored by his generosity. Now, I made a video about how to secure your storage locker, and somebody wrote a comment saying that, you know, storage lockers can't be trusted, and, you know, thieves will take everything you have. Well, that, that's 
may be true and honestly I don't have a storage locker full time but when I get a haul like this that is so big and I don't have any place to put it well, I could take this all the way back to the farm but what good would it do me there I can't move that stuff from back at the farm so here in my city location I have to have some place to store it and the wife's not going to have this stuff strung out through the front room which was my original plan I will admit but hey 80 bucks a month and I believe we will easily recoup our money off that at least whittle it down to where we can take some more that's not something I got for free there that's a uh, buddy of mine's having them, having me sell that for him and I've got a few things in here from an old auction because I was gonna get a storage unit so I figured I might as well use it put a few of my things in here look at this that's ceramic tile 12 pieces in each box I got that whole thing for 40 bucks that's a lot of shrimp tile. I could do the whole floor of Uncle D's cabin, but I'm not sure if I want to do that or not. It's so nice because I, I could sell that and make a lot of money. So, yeah, money talks for me. This box here says intercom. I don't know what all this stuff is. But man. Oh, cool. It's like helmets. It's like, I mean, I should say it's like headsets that uh, you'd put on. <laughs> That's so cool. There's a whole ton of them in there. Wow. Unbelievable. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Sweet. Man, this is just, just fun to play through. I mean, all this for free? Are you kidding me? And this whole crate is just full of this heavy gauge wire that goes to all this type of equipment. And I don't know if I'll be able to move this stuff or not. It's pretty sad, but... This stuff may end up in the dumpster, but hopefully not. Hopefully I can find somebody at least give me a couple hundred bucks for all that stuff. Look at this nice hard case. See what's in here. Ooh, nice. Oh yeah. Pretty penny. Looks like just the lens on that one. Another one. Oh, nice little thing still in the plastic there that is all right cool here we have a box full of the manuals for all these things every piece of machinery in here I've got the manual to now I'll probably sell these individually because you'll make a lot more money if you try to sell these with this manual it's not going to add much to it but there are people out there that love to have just the manual so there's a bunch of them in here you can see over there I don't know if you can see in here but I just got a ton of manuals over here very disorganized I need to get organized on that but that whole area is just filled with manuals oh my I see some other equipment down in there man this is just crazy how much I've got here and here we have a couple of studio cameras cool looking things here and you tell me that's not worth a pretty penny nice Side here, this is green curtain. What it is, it's a giant green background. Like, if you want to have a green board behind you, and then you could do whatever as far as like a news station or whatever. But this is this is heavy duty, heavy grade material. And this thing is gigantic. The guy said it would take up like a massive wall. Just thought I'd give you a shot of some of those lenses I was talking about. Here's an old Teledex style telephone these are actually worth some money too here's another one of those lenses 